so <clears throat> let us uh, discuss today on thin bituminous layers thin bituminous layers see we have uh, discussed the construction of the bituminous layers earlier and the construction steps and all and you have heard of uh, the layers like bituminous macadam dense bituminous macadam bituminous concrete so they are all considered to be thick layers thick layers thick layers generally layers having thickness more than 40 mm and above they are considered to be thick layers used for strengthening of the layers or even resurfacing etc now what we are discussing today is a thin bituminous layers generally layers of thickness 20 mm or less than that are called thin layers and today we are discussing about thin bituminous layers am i audible hello yes sir, yes, sir. thank you thank you thank you and uh, there are many thin layers thin bituminous layers uh, we will discuss some of the important thin bituminous layers uh, this one is open graded pre mixed surfacing this is one type of thin surfacing this is commonly called chip carpet uh, uh, if you ask uh, the field engineers they use that term chip carpet the chip carpet is referred to this this open graded pre mix surfacing name itself indicates it's a open graded mix where you have more whites and it's a pre mix surface that means the the bituminous mix is prepared in the plant or in the machineries machineries so this is one type of bituminous thin bituminous surface open graded pre mix surface or it is also called pmc or as field engineers say it is chip carpet chip carpet so this is the gradation gradation for the chip carpet or open graded pre mix surfacing so aggregates passing 22.4 mm c retained on 11.2 mm c quantity is required quantity is about 0.18 cubic meter per 10 square meter so so much quantity of passing 22.4 mm c retained on 11.2 mm c to be used for 10 square meters and this aggregates passing 13.2 mm and retained 5.6 mm how much quantity be used 0.09 cubic meter totally combining this 13.2 and 11.2 mm aggregates the total quantity is about 0.27 cubic meter per 10 square meter area so much quantity to be used this is about aggregates so now you have for chip carpet you know the quantity of aggregates to be used you know what is the gradation of aggregates to be used then comes the binder binder for this quantity for this quantity that means for 13.2 mm size aggregates binder to be used is 9.5 kg per 10 square meter and for this aggregate 11.2 aggregates are for this quantity 0.09 cubic meter the quantity of binder that is bitumen to be used is 5.1 kg so we know aggregates degradation the quantity similarly we know the quantity of bitumen to be used for this open graded pre mix surfacing now let us look at some salient aspects of this open graded premix surfacing it's a 20 mm thick layer hence it is a thin bituminous layer and it's a premix layer means to say the aggregates and the binder are premixed mixed in the plant now what is the construction operations carried out here for this layer construction of this layer preparation of the base as usual the preparation of the receiving layer attending all the distresses 
of the base layer or the receiving layer and then apply the prime coat or tack coat as necessary if it is existing layer is a bituminous layer then we put only tack coat if the existing layer or the base layer is a is a granular layer then we put both prime coat and tack coat so we have given this interfet treatment and then prepare the mix prepare the mix at the time of mixing the aggregate and binder the temperature of 150 to 163 degrees to be maintained and uh, when you unload the mix from the uh, plant the temperature of the mix should be in this range 130 to 160 60 degree so it after the mix is spread many times manually spread the chip carpet is spread manually or using paper also 8 to 10 ton roller is used 8 to 10 ton roller is used need not be this is a static roller 8 to 10 ton class static roller 8 to 10 ton refers to the gross weight of the roller so after rolling if you find any undulations on the compacted surface undulations if it is a depression add some mix if it is a uh, hip or ridge remove that so remove some mix there so rolling to comp rolling has to be completed before the temperature of the mix falls less than 100 degree so the name itself indicates as i said it's a open graded pre mix surface means to say more whites is there once you compact you are not supposed to allow traffic over that because it's a open graded mix raveling do occur this chip carpet layer this pre mix layer need to be covered with a seal coat seal coat we want the surface of the layer open graded pre mix layer to be sealed sealed so hence we use what is called seal coat seal coat over the open graded pre mix surface so <clears throat> there are two types of seal coat which you can use for sealing the surface whether it is chip carpet or any other layer here we are talking about sealing the uh, the chip carpet so we have to invariably we have to seal the chip carpet surface after its lay so there are two types of seal coat one is liquid seal coat other one is pre mixed seal coat So, what is this liquid seal coat? Application of a layer of bituminous binder followed by a cover of stone chips. That is called liquid seal coat. What do we do here? We spray the binder first. We spray the binder generally the emulsion, and then over this sprayed emulsion, once the emulsion is sprayed on the surface, on this surface. we spread the stone chips stone chips small size aggregate 6 mm chips uh, chips or 10 mm chips over the this uh, surface on which we have spread the emulsion or the binder so that is called liquid seal coat liquid seal coat then comes uh, pre mixed seal coat here we we spread chips stone chips then comes pre mix seal coat so here what do we do name itself indicates the aggregates are pre mixed with the binder here it is not pre mixed we spray the emulsion and then we spray the chips stone chips generally the 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 6 mm down uh, chips over the surface so hence it is called seal coat in this type of seal coat what do we do the fine aggregates and uh, and the bituminous bind binder is pre mixed in the plant or in the machinery now look at uh, what are the quantities required for the seal coat 
any emulsion or any viscosity grade bitumen if it is viscosity grade bitumen it has to fulfill the requirement of is 73 if it is a cationic emulsion then it has to fulfill the requirement of is 7 so what is the quantity to be used if it is a liquid yes seal coat uh, liquid uh, type yes seal coat 9.8 kg per 10 square meter if it is a type b seal coat it is 6. 8 kg per 10 square meter in case if you are using emulsion emulsion then 15 kg per type a seal coat 10.5 kg per type b type b all for 10 square meter area the quantities what we are talking here is all for 10 square meter area so aggregates for type a so i was telling type a is liquid seal coat Oh, sorry, type A seal coat, 6.0 mm size chips has to pass 100% in 11.2 and retained on 2.36 aggregates. So this is our type A seal coat. Passing 11.2 should be 100 and retained on 2.36 aggregates are used. Type B seal coat, it is uh, passing 2.36 mm and retained on 1, 180 micron. The quantity we used is 0 0.06 cubic meter per 10 square meter. 10 square meter. So uh, uh, this is something like uh, uh, powder, powder, sand. Sand we use here, sand here, fine aggregates. Here we use uh, uh, the chips, chips, uh, 6 mm down chips, 6 mm down chips. Here we use fine aggregates, something like sand size particles. Now type A seal coat. What is type A seal coat? This chips, 6 mm down chips. When we use 6 mm down chips, it is called type A seal coat. Bitumen is heated to 150 to 160 degrees centigrade. This heated bitumen is sprayed on the dry surface using mechanical sprayer. After that, these 6 mm down chips are uniformly spread, preferably using a grit, chain, grit spreader. If required, after spreading, it is brushed to ensure the uniform spreading of the chips, 6 mm chips. And uh, rolling is to be done using 8 to 10 ton class roller, either static or vibratory roller. After rolling, in additional chips additional aggregates may be used to make up any irregularities on the compacted surface and this rolling has to continue till aggregate particles are firmly embedded, embedded in the binder spread below and uh, present a uniform surface and this compacted surface may be open to the traffic immediately after the rolling however speed limit is to be restricted to 16 kmph. Ideal is you allow the traffic next day. So that's about the construction of type A seal code. What do we use here? The 6 mm down aggregates. Type B seal code is uh, preparation of the mix. We use aggregates here. Passing 13.2, retained on 6.3 mmc. The mix is prepared in the mix. Binder is heated separately, transported to the site. And rolling is done using 8 to 10 ton static smooth wheel roller. And this rolled surface can be opened to the traffic after final rolling. After the mix has come down to atmospheric temperature you can open to the traffic once the mix has come down to the atmospheric temperature after rolling. So that's about using the viscosity grade bitumen. You can also you prepare the construct the premix surfacing prepared with emulsion. Again, this is also 20 mm thick layer. We can use medium setting emulsion in which the bitumen content supposed to be 65% by weight in this medium setting emulsion. We can use rapid setting for liquid seal coat, slow setting for premix seal coat. 
so this is the quantity of aggregates for pre mixed surface coarse aggregates 0.18 cubic meter coarse aggregates of 11.2 mm size 0.09 cubic meter emulsion required per ton 10 square meter area is for chip carpet is 20 to 23 k 20 to 23 kg for 10 square meter after this premix surface we have to cover the surface either with a liquid seal coat or a premix seal coat if it is, if we are using liquid seal coat it is 10 12 to 14 kg per 10 square meter if you are covering that with a premix seal coat then it is to be 10 to 12 kg per 10 square meter how do we construct uh, this premix surface uh, using emulsion prepare the receiving layer prepare the binder what is this preparation of the binder that emulsion emulsion comes in emulsion uh, comes in drums and these drums are to be rolled to and fro they are to be rolled at least five times for a distance of 10 meters so that uh, the emulsion any coagulation is there uh, you, you get a uniform emulsion because uh, the drums kept in one place for a longer duration uh, there can be separation of the emulsifier, bitumen and water. So, need to be rolled. That is called preparation of the binder. Then comes preparation of the mix. We have to use appropriate, appropriate cold mixing plant or a suitable mixer, any mixing unit. Or even if nothing is available, we can even use a typical concrete mixer for mixing emulsion and aggregates. If you are using a concrete mixer for preparation of uh, this emulsion mix, then first for 1.135 cubic meter, point zero 0.09 cubic meter of point of 13.2 mm size and point zero 0.045 cubic meter of 11.2 mm size aggregates are to be used per batch and uh, this to be used for 5 square meter area to have a thickness of 20 mm thickness for coarse aggregates of 13.2 mm placed in the mix and then we have to add 5 to 6.5 kg of emulsion after mixing then add the 11.2 mm size aggregates followed by remaining 5 to 6.5 kg per emulsion. So first coarse aggregates, bigger size aggregates, add 50% of the emulsion, then add this 11.2 mm size aggregates in the mixer, concrete mixer, then add remaining this 5 to 6.5 kg emulsion. Mix thoroughly. So if you are mixing this manually, some cases sometimes that is also done. 0 0.06 cubic meter can be mixed in one heap, preferably to make aggregates damp before mixing. These bigger size aggregates, 13.2 mm aggregates are mixed first, then followed by 11.2 mm aggregates. Then this mix is spread within 10 minutes after applying tack coat. All raking mixing within 20 minutes of time of mixing. So. The, the 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 mixing and spreading should get over within 20 minutes 20 minutes 20 minutes in case of manual uh, preparation and rolling should follow using smooth wheel rollers so after this after this chip carpet or premix surface is laid because it is open graded as i said you have to seal that chip carpet surface with a seal coat after four to six hours after laying this premix carpet. We can allow the traffic after uh, after six to eight hours after rolling, preferably the next day given the opportunity. So that's about the chip carpet, one type of thin bituminous layer. We can have the chip carpet using viscosity grade bitumen or we can have the chip carpet layer using the emulsion emulsion so for both this uh, emulsion chip carpet layer or the uh, chip carpet layer prepared using uh, the viscosity grade bitumen 
the seal coat has to be lead type a or type b that is must to cover the the voids in the surface and to have a smooth surface and to seal the surface against infiltration of water so it is always premix carpet plus seal coat premix carpet plus seal coat whenever we do premix carpet invariably by default we have to cover that with a seal coat together it is called chip carpet layer premix complete chip carpet layer one type of thin bituminous layer then comes another type of thin bituminous layer which is called closely graded premix carpet it is also called mixil surfacing or it is called cgpc cgps close graded premix surface or close graded premix carpet cgps or cgps it is also called as i said mss mixil surfacing this is another type of thin bituminous surface so name itself indicates unlike the premix carpet what we discussed earlier this is a closely graded premix carpet again this is also a open graded mix only but close graded compared to the premix carpet so this premix carpet closely graded premix carpet is an alternative to open graded premix carpet in the earlier case we constructed chip carpet open graded chip carpet and then sealed with a seal coat two operations two construction operations in this close graded mix mix seal surface we have we have uh, we have uh, one layer which combined both these two chip carpet plus seal coat instead of putting as a separate operations combine these two and lay in a single operation that becomes our mix seal surfacing mix seal surfacing that is the advantage am i audible hello yes sir yes sir slides yes, are clear any clarifications yes sir any clarifications are you clear about chip carpet generally the chip carpet is not constructed nowadays olden days it was a common layer for uh, village roads and all now it is not constructed it's not constructed people construct this mss instead so this is the gradation for mix seal surfacing this is the sieve size there are two types of mix seal surfacing type a mix seal type b mix seal surfacing so this is the gradation type a is smaller size 11.2 to 100 percent 5.6 50 to 80 percent and 0 9 mmc which is 0 to 5 percent passing for type b it is bigger size compared to type a mix seal surfacing it is 13.2 to 100 percent so you can use any of this type a mix seal surface or type b mix seal surface so <clears throat> this mixil surface is uh, paved the once the, it is the mix is prepared in the hot mix plant brought in tippers to the construction site and then paved and then compacted compacted using the rollers similar to the typical bituminous layer construction steps construction steps the mix is prepared in the hmp brought in tippers to the site and it is paved and rolled rolled then comes another thin layer which is called uh, mastic asphalt mastic asphalt probably you have seen this uh, mastic asphalt layer uh, in some of the junctions one or two junctions in bangalore or on uh, flyover uh, flyover uh, ramps 
down ramps down ramps uh, in mysore circle shikshi circle flyover uh, it was there uh, down ramps or some some of the bridge decks you can see this some of the junctions you can see this plastic asphalt you can see in this picture they are laying plastic asphalt this is plastic asphalt so what is this is also constructed as a thin layer when i say thin layer means 20 generally 20 mm at below layers are called thickness if the thickness is 20 mm at below they are called thin bituminous layer so the mastic asphalt is a homogeneous mixture of the filler well graded fine well graded coarse aggregates so it's a homogeneous uniform mix consisting of well graded fine aggregates coarse aggregates and mineral filler this mastic asphalt is cooked when i say cooked literally cooked in a boiler literally it is cooked all this are cooked in a boiler and let him hot conditions hot conditions <coughs> when it is led the mastic asphalt mix settles to a voidless impermeable solid mass under normal temperature conditions when this cooked asphalt is led on the surface it settles into a impermeable voidless solid mass under normal temperature condition and this mastic asphalt acts as a bearing coarse surface coarse some sometimes or most of the times some stone chips pre-coated with bitumen is grafted 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 literally grafted or sometimes spread on this mastic called surface mastic asphalt surface so that the surface becomes skid resistant this is very smooth surface very smooth surface so the, the to control the skidding the stone chips are embedded on the surface or the stone chips are spread on the surface to have a skid resistant surface so you can see in the pictures the mastic asphalt lead lead now it is spreading spreading and no rolling is required for mastic asphalt it settles by itself into a hard impermeable wireless surface see here it spreads no rolling is required for mastic asphalt done on flyovers you can see this is a flyover or done on decks bridge decks bridge decks or sometimes even junctions where heavy acceleration deceleration turning moments are there when so so you can see here the 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 hard chips are embedded here to have a skid resistant surface she is doing that she is grafting the aggregates here so for this what are the requirements of bitumen for this mastic asphalt the penetration should be 20 to 40 is a hard bitumen and softening point is 50 to 90 degree ductility is about 3 centimeter loss on heating about 1% solubility minimum is 99% when carbon disulfate is used as a solvent when it comes to the coarse aggregates for mastic asphalt, needless to say, the aggregates are to be clean, hard, durable, free from any disintegration and, and organic matter. Aggregates sh should be hydrophobic, should have low porosity and these physical properties are desirable, required shall fulfill the aggregates you shall fulfill these physical requirements as per MRTH. Los Angeles abrasion value maximum 30%, aggregate impact value maximum 40%, soundness 12%, soundness 
18 percent if magnesium sulfate is used water absorption not to exceed 2 percent these are all maximum allowable values as per specifications so this is the gradation of coarse aggregates for mastic asphalt when this mastic asphalt is used as a varying course and for when used on a bridge deck on bridge surface so these are the sieve sizes this is the percentage passing percentage passing <clears throat> the thickness can be 25 to 40 then the percentage of coarse aggregates to be 30 to 40 percent if the thickness is 41 to 50 mm when this mastic asphalt the percentage of coarse aggregate should be 40 to 50 percent so the grading for footpaths when you use this on footpath 6.7 mmc 100 percent passing we can have the thickness of 20 to 25 mm the percentage of coarse aggregates in this case can be can be 15 to 30 percent so this is coarse aggregate then comes the fine aggregates this is the gradation Two point three six mm passing retained on six hundred mm sieve zero to twenty five percent passing six hundred mm micron retained on two hundred and ten micron percentage weight is five to twenty five percent passing two hundred ten twelve micron retained on seventy five micron sieve retain the quantity is ten to twenty percent passing by weight passing seventy five micron it is thirty to fifty percent you can see it's a dense very dense mix you have more of fine content more fine content so the fine aggregates that is your sand size aggregates can be a crushed rock or a natural sand or combina com combination of these two both crushed rock and natural sand the filler as i said uh, what is this mastic asphalt a mixture of coarse aggregate fine aggregate and filler so this filler filler can be the limestone passing 75 micron and this filler should have calcium carbonate not less than 80 percent so we need equipments we need equipments for this construction of mastic cookers uh, mastic asphalt we need cookers which are called mastic cookers these cookers are similar to our boilers the only thing is they are mounted on the wheel chassis so that they can be more easily so heating of bitumen and material by oil fired burners we have to use uh, heat the bitumen using burners and uh, the cookers uh, mastic cookers should have compartments different compartments and one compartment or main compartment is for heating the bitumen and uh, for the preparation of the mix and other compartment should be there for preheating of the aggregates so the mastic cooker ranges from capacity ranges from half to three tons there are other equipments required for construction of mastic asphalt wheel burrows for uh, shipping of the mix for smaller distance small dumpers for long distance we need travels floats straight edge for finishing and spreading and we need to have angles wooden angles or steel angles to restrict the movement of mastic to the desired thickness and to desired width width how do we prepare the mastic in the cooker how do you prepare how do you prepare this mix mastic mix initially filler alone is heated to 170 to 200 degree in this mastic cooker and then half of the required quantity of bitumen is heated to 170 to 180 degree 
is added and then both the filler and the bitumen is cooked for one hour boiled for one hour after this the fine aggregate is added and a balanced bitumen can be added here and again mixed for one more hour in the final stage coarse aggregate is added and mixed for one hour it's totally three hours of mixing so first filler is added heated and then 172 to 180 degree for one hour then fine aggregate is added then balance bitumen is added again mixed for one hour final stage coarse aggregate is added and mixed for one hour so temperature in the uh, the mastic not to go beyond 200 degree centigrade not dangerous in case of material is not required for immediate use sometimes once you can cook and store you can cook and immediately use for construction sometimes we don't do that so in that case this whatever this cooked material mastic material with uh, this bitumen mastic with filler and fine aggregates shall be cast into blocks without adding coarse aggregates coarse aggregates these this blocks can be prepared blocks of 25 kgs can be cast and uh, reserve stored whenever you want to construct use this uh, mastic blocks use these blocks uh, i mean broke uh, break this uh, uh, blocks not exceeding 60 mm cubes remelt it at a temperature of 170 to 200 degree for at least one hour so this says time you can reserve keep these blocks ready and then use as and when required so these blocks are prepared using filler fine aggregates and bitumen only so this is the the the, the uh, mastic asphalt blocks a gradation for mastic asphalt blocks you can prepare this and use this this is uh, degradation passing retain minimum maximum quantity so this uh, you, we have to do the bitumen content look here 14 to 17 percent what is the bitumen content here 14 to 17 percent can anybody tell what is the binder content for a dbm and bc generally the range hello it is about 4.5 to 5 percent look here 14 to 17 percent bitumen content very rich in bitumen so we have to do what is called hardness test and we have to get these values these numbers we should get when there is no coarse aggregates when tested at 25 degrees hardness number should be 60 to 80 with coarse aggregates the the hardness number can vary from 10 to 20. so how do we lay mastic asphalt then comes how do we spread this mastic asphalt test first step as usual prepare the receiving layer or the base layer so the mastic asphalt is laid on a pre-prepared shape conditioned surface spot which is rich in the binder shall be scrapped repaired if you find any rich binder in the receiving surface that is to be scrap and uh, the angles wooden or steel angles of size 25 to 50 mm are placed at required placing on the receiving surface on the base layer then transport the mix for longer distances a toad mix transporter is used and there should be adequate provision for heating and stirring to keep the aggregates and filler suspended in the mix during transportation this 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 
uh, heating and mixing should be on for small works uh, we can use wheel burrows inorganic limestone dust may be sprinkled inside of the transport to avoid sticking so the mastic asphalt is transported to the job site then comes laying of the mix how do we lay it can be deposited directly on the receiving layer base layer and then spread uniformly by means of floats to the required thickness generally laid in 1 meter widths this 1 meter width is confined between the angles right angles temperature at the time of laying shall be 170 degree centigrade after it is laid as i said stone chips or aggregates of 9.5 mm to 13.2 mm size using bitumen at the rate of 2 to 3% at the rate of 0.005 cubic meter for 10 square meter is pressed grafted into the surface mastic surface when the mastic temperature is in between 80 to 100 degree centigrade and this uh, grafted aggregates <coughs> should protrude 3 to 4 mm above the mastic surface so that they act as skid resistant and flakiness in the index of these aggregates which used shall be less than 25 percent so there are some quality control measures during the construction of course we have to do sieve analysis to check the gradation once in a day physical test one test for every 25 to 50 cubic meter of mix prepared testing of bitumen for ever, at least two tests for each lot filler material minimum of one test for 5 tons temperature to be checked periodically two specimens of 10 meter square of 2.5 mm thick is to be tested for hardness number and we have to obtain the values specified should be in the trays bitumen to be extra extracted from 1 kg mastic sample for checking the bitumen quantity longitudinal profile when measured using 3 meter straight edge and cross profile with camber board greater than 4 mm is to be rectified when you check using 3 meter straight edge any uneven as greater than 4 mm undulation a check at the 3 meter straight edge greater than 4 mm need to be rectified and please remember mastic asphalt not to be laid when atmospheric temperature is less than 15 degree so this mastic asphalt layer whatever we discussed this thin as asphalt layer whatever we discussed so far it acts as a heavy duty pavement for carrying high volume of traffic hence it is used in bus stops where heavy tangential forces are expected that is the reason why this sometimes mastic asphalt is used in junctions where lot of tensile forces are there, uh, present and it is also used on bridge decks bridge slabs as a uh, wearing surface so that's about uh, the 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 mastic asphalt so in this thin bituminous asphalt layers so far we have discussed the pre mix surfacing which is called chip carpet pmc then using viscosity grade bitumen then we discussed the chip carpet using emulsion so then we discussed about seal coat type a type b seal coat which is spread on the mastic asphalt to seal the surface then we discussed another layer what is called a mix seal surfacing also called close graded mix seal surfacing then we discussed about mastic asphalt so three three to four types of thin layers four types of thin layers we discussed so far any clarifications
Hello, any clarifications, please? No, sir. Sir, no, sir. yeah, please. Yes, yes, go on. Sir, can you get the videos for this, sir? What? Videos, sir, videos. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Videos, you got the sir. Yes, yes, I'll mail, I'll mail, definitely. Definitely. So, after this, in the next discussion hour, we'll discuss another thin bituminous layer, which is quite new. Only we are using this layer in our country in the last year and then, uh, last uh, in the last decade. I mean, it's slowly gaining momentum, I believe. So, we'll discuss about microsurfacing in our next discussion class. So, if nothing, any, nothing is there, then I wind up my discussion. So when I come next time for the discussion, we'll discuss micro surfacing. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, recording stop, Madi, sir. Do you